So I'm here in front of the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses, and I wanted to talk to you today about the false prophecies of the Witnesses. They have had many false prophecies. They've predicted the end of the world. They've predicted many other things, and we're going to talk about those today because they are, by the Bible's definition, false prophets, the Jehovah's Witnesses. Deuteronomy 18 verses 20 through 22 give the test for a prophet. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. And if thou shalt say in thine heart, How shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. So, if you give a prophecy, and it was a false prophecy, the punishment was a punishment of death. And the way you determine if that prophecy was of God or not was to see if the prophecy actually was fulfilled, if it came to pass. If it didn't come to pass, then it was not from God. It was not of God. That prophet was to be put to death in the Old Testament. When we look at the Jehovah's Witnesses and what they teach and the prophecies that they have given, they have repeatedly failed to come to pass. And we'll take a look at some examples of that. But according to the Bible, that is a false prophet and you're not to be afraid of him. The Jehovah's Witnesses are known for having made many contradictory and changing prophecies about the return of Christ, the end of the world, and various other end time events. In 1870, Charles Taze Russell founded a small Bible study, which later developed into what we know as the Jehovah's Witnesses. During that Bible study, he established a prophecy that he said would occur. In 1872, he believed that the millennium of Christ would begin. Many of his initial prophecies included in 1872 that the millennium would begin, and that in 1874, the end of the world would occur with the return of Christ. <laughs> Russell again predicted the end of the world in 1914 with what he called the end of a war that would destroy the kingdoms of this world and fully establish the kingdom of God. The war that began that year was World War I, began in July of 1914 and continued on to November 1918, but Russell actually predicted that that war would result in the destruction of all the kingdoms of this world and the establishment of the millennium under Christ in the year of 1914, but the war actually dragged on several more years until November of 1918. Disproving right there his prediction, plus the fact that the kingdoms of the world did not cease to exist at that time and Christ did not physically return to this world to establish his kingdom. So they reinterpreted the prophecy to say that it was a spiritual return and that Christ did, in fact, return in 1914. And that the generation that was alive in 1914 would survive until the establishment of the kingdom. Which, of course, now that we are in 2023, that is impossible as well. In fact... In the 1970s and 80s, the Watchtower organization taught that the end of the world would be before the turn of the millennium in 2000. They taught that in order to support their view that the generation that saw 1914 would continue to be alive until the return of Christ. Russell's final prediction was the end of the harvest in 1918, the spring of 1918, that at that point uh, all the Jehovah's Witnesses numbers would be final and there would be no no more harvest of souls and no more people getting saved according to their definition of salvation and that uh, that would be the beginning of the end once again and of course 1918 came and went and the Jehovah's Witnesses continue to evangelize and continue to try and reach out to people which if the harvest was over this shouldn't be necessary but they continue to do that and they continued to make false prophecies in 1929, the Jehovah's Witnesses built a mansion in San Diego, California, which was meant for several faithful old men who would be resurrected from the grave in order to take charge of this world. Of course, that did not happen as well, and they finally, in disgrace, sold the mansion in 1948. 
Some other predictions of the Watchtower that failed to be realized were in 1925, they predicted that the end of the world would occur and that the ancient biblical figures of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob would be resurrected. So that obviously did not happen. They predicted the second coming of Christ in 1874, 1914, 1918, and 1925. The Watchtower organization predicted in the early 1900s that all armies would disappear, leading to a world of peace, but that never happened. Of course, that was prior to World War I, World War II, and uh, all the other conflicts that we've known in this modern period. It is difficult to determine the exact number of times that the Watchtower organization has made predictions about the end of the world, but it is safe to say that they have made several failed predictions over the years. These that I've talked about have just been a few of them. These failed predictions have revealed the falsehood of the Watchtower's teachings and claims. We are warned in scripture to avoid false prophets. The Jehovah's Witnesses will insist that these were simply misinterpretations of scripture. But if their doctrine is so bad that it leads to these kind of misunderstandings, then they are a group that is to be avoided. The Bible says in Ephesians 4.14 that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. It says in Ephesians 5.11, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. And that's why we make these videos, is to reprove these unfruitful works of darkness before they deceive others. It's necessary to reprove these false teachers and understand that when the Jehovah's false witnesses come to your door, we're not to entertain or fellowship with false teachers, and that's exactly what the Jehovah's Witnesses are. It's necessary to reprove them and rebuke them according to the scriptures. The next time Jehovah's false witnesses come knocking on your door, don't give them your attention. They are false teachers who have given false prophecies and need to be rejected. Study the Word of God for yourself and understand what it tells you. May God bless you as you study His Word. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, click on the link to the Mormon video that we did, and also make sure you check out all our history videos that we have on this channel.